Back again. Hi, everybody. Back again. Hi, everybody. Dave Thompson here, here with the main man, Kelvin Holiday. Hey, folks. How you doing? <laughs> uh, and in this video, uh, we're going to have a chat about authority and building your authority assets. Uh, Kel's a man that knows a lot about this. He's written uh, three Amazon, well, he's written three books. Two of them have launched, both of them Amazon bestsellers, another soon to launch, and then a few more down the track. And uh, in this video, I, I think, Kel, what, what we're going to sh share and talk about is uh, ways to build your authority, even on top of the book, if you really want to dial it up um, and take that to the next level. So, uh, yeah, let's have a chat. Let's go for it, mate. Yeah, look, it, it, as I said, this is just an experiential thing. This is um, some of this. It's really a lot, a lot of people in my life have been a big influence on me. And I, I guess I've taken all the little pieces from everybody's experiences and just dialed it in in this, in this book authority space. And, uh, yeah, so let's just go for it and see where, where it takes us. Buddy. Awesome. 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 So let's um, kind of set the scene to start with. So when we're talking about authority, what, what does that mean to you? Like when you hear authority, what do you think? And, and, and more specifically, um, what are authority assets? Okay. I guess if we just um, take down the, pool, uh, the tall poppy syndrome of Australia for a start, and uh, when we talk about an authority, understand that you uh, are unique. I think when we talk about your, your authority, you, you're the only you. And once I actually got my head around that, Nobody can do things like I do things because I'm the only me. Yeah. You're the only Dave, you know, and what we do and what we become passionate about, only you can have the, the, the passion and the authority in that space. So I guess there's, that's the first thing to get your mind around. It's not about getting your ego built up, although some people it does, and I've been there and done that. Yeah, you start to see some of the, you start to build up some assets. You start to think you're a bit better than what you really are sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, but your authority statement is really about letting the world know that you've got something to say and, and it's got some value and it's going to help. Uh, and I yeah. start, that's, yeah, and we start to think about, you now we, we can be a person in the world, but if you want to stand out and make a difference in the world, you've actually got to, you've got to get people to listen to you and having that authority yeah. place and the assets in place. Um, that's what will make you, you know, influence the world in a positive way the most. Awesome. So I'm, so it's a, I'm hearing from that that it's coming from a place of contribution and service and that cementing your authority can help you to make that contribution and that impact and that legacy and that the assets are kind of, the authority assets are kind of a tool that will help you to, to further that end. Would that be fair to say? 100%. If, you're, if you've got a heart to help people, to actually, you know, to influence people in a positive way and influence the world in a positive way, this is the vehicle. It makes, it, cool. make, makes, a, makes a huge difference in the way. And the assets you build around that and how mm. you build that, you know, because some of them are positive assets and some mm. of them aren't positive assets, you know. And so I, I really want to be really clear on what's, what's, what works and what doesn't work. So, so let, let's have a chat about that. So, yeah, what, what are the authority assets that, what are some examples? What, what are the things that work? And perhaps if you could highlight some of the things that you've seen that don't work. Okay. So media, all right, if you can get some sort of media attention, you know, small, big, doesn't matter what it is, that's other people. You know, we've heard about the testimony stuff. Once you get somebody else to be saying something about you, that's an asset. Mm -hmm. All right. And so an asset is not you telling everybody about you. <laughs> mm. That's mm. you just inflating your own ego. All right. And mm -hmm. saying, I'm good. People don't want to listen to that. People want mm -hmm. other people to say that you're good. And that's where the power is. Mm. And so once you start to build up assets, I'm talking about, you know, media, getting, you know, getting your name, getting you know, articles posted, getting um, different things like that um, out there is going to make a huge difference. And you can, pay, like you can pay huge money for that, but you can actually pay very little money and leverage off one off the next. So I'm thinking about you know, media assets, you know, getting yourself on, you know, whether it be um, in the paper, articles. Now, even um, where it starts for me, another great asset place is when you get a voice into a social media group. So on Facebook, 
LinkedIn, two big platforms, when you can actually get into a group and not just be an attendee, but being somebody seen in that group as being, you know, having something to contribute and other people mm. actually liking what you're saying in that group, that can be a mm. great leverage point as well. So that's a nice asset without you actually doing a lot of work. And mm. somebody else's mm. group, you posting in that group, and then people are referring to you in that group. Mm -hmm. Great way of doing it. So social awesome. media, yeah, social media is, is an asset, you know, depending on your social media and who you're trying to reach. You know, so maybe some of the um, some uh, social media platforms is probably not the best place to be. I'm not going to say which ones. You'll know where they are for you. But Facebook mm -hmm. in general, okay. LinkedIn in general, great. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, media is another one. And then you start to step step it up. They're, the, they're sort of like what I'd call the external factors. Mm -hmm. When you get your own piece of real estate um, or web space, you know, your own authority site, that's what takes the whole new... And that's where you can actually bring it all together and it makes the most amount of impact. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and again, how you word it and all that type of stuff, making you sure you're bringing in those other, other assets and everything into that space so that when people go there, it might have your name in it, you know, like kelvinholiday.com is my space. Mm. When they get there, it's almost like other people are talking about me. Yes. So language becomes very, very important. Yes, yes. I love that. And what, what's coming to me about everything that you just shared is that, you know, we often talk about the book, uh, especially for, for people who are just starting out, you know, the kind of the rising stars, um, as the book being a foundational piece. For, the, for their business. And what I'm hearing here is that, you know, if you've come through the book writers program and you've got a book and then you start to build these authority assets as well, then you're really laying a strong foundation for a, king, a kingdom or a queendom, whatever it is for you. Exactly right. And, and look, the, the leverage comes from it. And, and, and there is a, a little bit of a sequence, all right? There's some things are better to go before others. Mm, um, and sure. some, some are better to go in tandem and mm -hmm. some of them definitely you know, they need to go last and some of them def definitely need to go first. You know, so yes, like, right. Just your basic, you know, Facebook and LinkedIn profile, you've got to get those to establish first and get a following. If you haven't got that, mm -hmm. that's where you need to be starting. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So, well, first of all, where, where would you say people start? Like on, on that matter. So let's say they've already got a book and then, you know, should they, should they start with the media citations or is it a landing page or... You know, I guess, I mean, my feeling is that, is that they would look towards a landing page and, an author and or an authority site. Yep. Um, can you maybe have, a, have a, just a chat between, you know, what's, what's an authority page, what's a landing page, and maybe when you would use each? Yep, yep, not a worry. So, again, starting at the social media space, that's where you'll start to build your audience, all right? And once you've got an audience... The next step really, and, and this was my own experience, I went to the media citation place. Now, get some sort of media that says, hey, you are an expert in your field. So a media citation or an article published or something like that, because then you can use that on your cover of your book. Hey, you know, being seen on, you know, that being mm. seen on thing is, is a piece of gold. Um, mm. And you can put that onto the back of your cover. You can put that into your landing page. That's that's a, a almost a, a first step in that into that space if that's where you're going to go, all right. Mm -hmm. And or if you're going to publish your first book and you and you're planning on publishing a series of books, get your first book out there, get it to be the number one, and then in between first book and second book, that's when you go for the really big one. So your first book mm -hmm. might be just that test of the waters, and your second book mm -hmm. is really where you're going to get, going to really launch into it. Um, mm -hmm. And it depends on your own strategy. And each individual person's got their own strategies around that. I'm sure you'll help them mm -hmm. develop yes, that yes, um, yes. very clearly. So I won't go there. But for me, media citation, from my experience, and let me just yep. give you some statistics that will freak you out. Um, yeah. When I first started this process, I had a social media following. I mean, across all platforms, um, less than 500. It's about 370 people wow. that I was linked into. Wasn't many. Mm. For a lot mm. of people, they go, oh, I do that's a lot. Mm. When you understand, once I got the media citation and got the authority stamp, so to speak, from other areas, um, mm. within 18 months, I was reaching 380,000 people. Wow. What's, that's like a... 
It's like, like 10,000 percent or something. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So the strategies around that. So I maxed out my I maxed out my Facebook. I Facebook can only take a maximum of five thousand people. Yes, Every yes. month I dump off about five hundred people. Wow. So you just get, in, I, I, increasing the quality. Increasing the quality of people and also taking those people into a Facebook, into a into a business page or a personal page where you can actually have you can actually leverage those and basically siphoning people into the different areas. So that's a that's a big piece and having that right social media strategies because everybody will come to you as the person and then taking mm -hmm. them to a different page where you can actually now start to house different people mm -hmm. and max out your, your reach and then getting into groups. So that's the social media side of things. And the landing awesome. page then becomes those people who are what, what you would call your inner sanctum. Those are the yes. people who you are having those day-to-day -day conversations with who are engaged in your stuff and they're, they're, they're your, 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 that's your, you know, your cheer squad, you know, your people you know, you're, you're, you're helping to really you know, take to the next level in your space. That, and, and they would also be the sneezers, as we would yeah, as talk about. That's exactly right. They're, they're, the, they're, 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 they're your raving fans out there saying, hey, this is the best thing in the world. You need to get on board with this bloke he knows or this lady. They know what they're talking mm. about. If you're looking to do X, this is where you should go. And, um, oh. yeah, which is what we have conversation. So. Yes, yes, yes. And in a, in a previous video, which people can, uh, can check out, maybe it'll be linked somewhere here, um, we talked a lot about a landing page for a book. Um, yeah, do you want to just share a little bit about the aspects of an authority page? Um, yeah. Yeah, just, just speak a little bit towards that. Okay, so landing page, very specific. Yeah, you know, you've got a book, you're talking about the book, full stop. Yep. That's all you're doing on, on, on a landing page or whatever you're trying to sell or promote or service. You're just talking about that to that particular target market. Your authority page is now, it actually goes a lot deeper. It goes into who you are. And, and it gives you, in some respects, it creates that, I would actually call it like that platform of where you can spread a bit broader message, but it's got to be very still focused. So for me, it's about unleashing your awesome. How do I help people to transform their life, all right, and unleash their awesome? And mm. so that's my authority stamp, you know. So being, you know, I was, I was in um, ABC, NBC, and seen in the top 10 people internationally in this leadership mm. space. And mm. so when I got that, it's about saying, this is who I am, mm. and that's what I'm communicating on my authority page. Who can mm. I do that with? How I do that? Your authority page can then give you different pathways where different people are at. So if you offer three, four, five services, books, blah, 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 whatever it might be that you're offering, your authority pay says, I am the expert or I am the authority in this mm. space. But here's a number of different doorways that you can come into, you know, having a, having a conversation or how I can help. So it might be a Love that. or it might be a book. It might be, you know, just here's a couple of simple check, whatever it might be. And always with with the idea in that authority page of how do you collect their data. So, yeah, I, I, we said it in that previous video. And I'll just say it again here. Mm -hmm. It's really important when you get it when you get it any sort of website have that place mm -hmm. to opt in. Again, name, email address, first name mm -hmm. only. Little mm -hmm. mm -hmm. get the detail and then start mm -hmm. to communicate and start to show some love. All right, and give, mm -hmm. give, give. All right, mm -hmm. uh, it, yeah, you reap what you sow. So keep on giving and eventually it will turn back to you. Mm -hmm. Love that, Kel. I really think that's the way to go is have, have the site where the authority site where there's multiple, wherever people are at, whether they're red hot or just meeting you for the first time, they've, they've got an offer that they can, uh, they can take up or get closer to you. There's the media citation on the site where other people are talking about mm -hmm. you. You know, there's the book, there's the Amazon bestseller. It's, and it, to me, it feels a bit like a hub. It's like you're claiming your space. You've got the shop front. It's like this is what I can offer and contribute to the world. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, Beautiful. And can, I, can I say this? How and what you communicate on your authority space is really important. And mm. so if you're building an authority, I, I guess for me and the services and different things that I offer, it is mm. very relational. So given the opportunity to have a conversation because that's what re relational people do. 
If you're yeah. about, hey, we're, we're, we're the authority in selling a particular product, well, that's yeah. got to be front and center. Whatever it is that your main authority revolves around, that's what you, that's what you got to lead with. And, yeah. um, and for me, strategy is where it comes in. You know, how do you become the best leader? What's the top 10 tips? You can give them checklists. Everybody's giving away free checklists. How do you go? You've got to always think, what is the thing that you can give that it might take you a little bit, you know, and I, and I guess this is a little bit different in my thinking than a lot of people on the, you know, obviously, how do you automate it? So how do you give them something free simply? Mm. Once you get into the authority space, mm. what your market wants is you. Yeah. They don't want another checklist mm. and know that. And, and that, that was just my own experience. I, I done the whole checklist thing. Um, that's what you do at a landing page. That's what you do trying to sell a product, a simple thing, which is a gateway to your authority. My experience mm. is once they get there, they don't want another checklist. They actually want a piece mm. of you. So how mm. do you, you, and it might be instead of a checklist, even if it's just a video, um, there's mm. great tools on there. Yeah, a strategy call might be too hard for you. There's, not, there's a whole bunch of other ones around where you can actually, you know, um, uh, what was the one I, oh, it's just, it's escapes me at the moment. You can actually you know, like click on the link and you can actually send them a personalized video. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So there, there's a whole bunch of great tools out there, but you can do it in your time. So they can mm. book it, to, yeah, so you link them to your calendar so that you can actually just have one hour a week. All right. We do 15 minute calls. Then that means you can mm. talk to four people a week. That's it. You just carve out an hour a day, you know, in, mm. in the one day. And you say, that's the time I'm going to speak. And whoever books in first, first in best rest. Mm. So it's not taking a lot of time out of your day, but mm. that's, that's, that would be my top tip for an authority site is actually get personal. Get personal. I love that. I love that because I think some, sometimes, you know, particularly the people that come through book writers with us, they're very um, relationship-based and they're, in, they're, they're not really from the transactional mindset, you know, and, and the people that come through book writers, they actually care mm. and they give a crap about yep. their people and they want to contribute. And so, you know, we're, if we're setting up some kind of, the, of this technology, the fact that, uh, and the fact that you're bringing this relational personal perspective is, is spot on. And yeah, I think that'll really gel with a lot of our people. Yeah. Uh, awesome. man. So Kel, but just could you just briefly explain um, the services? Like, so if people want to get a media citation um, or the authority page or a landing page, like you can help them with that. Hundred percent. Your team can. Yeah, hundred percent. And and I guess um, I'm just going to flick across. Like Dave and I, we're talking here. I'm just going. My video editor is actually going to um, make this little video for you and show you a little bit what a video editor can do at this space. So as you're hearing my voice uh, and Dave's voice right now, I'm just going to show you through some of the things we can do. Um, mm -hmm. And so what you're seeing here now is a little bit of some of that media authority state, um, space that we've got through. Um, you know, we've been in, you know, I've been on the, on the big smoke, um, you know, that bizversity, actually you know, being out there and having some, um, some words to say. Um, mm -hmm. But when it comes down to some of your authority stuff, the citation you're seeing here now, um, having a citation so we can help out with that. And we'll just flip back to my face so you can actually see me. Mm. Um, so the, 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 the media citations for me was, as I said before, that's, that's where the key leverage come from. And so, yeah, we can help out with being able to do that on, and we give a 90 day guarantee. Um, if we can't get you onto that hundred percent money back guarantee, which is pretty cool. Um, mm -hmm. which very cool. Four international media stations, um, around the world and you get international media and that actually creates a backlink back to your own piece of real estate, your own asset, which is what we're talking about in the first place. So that helps with SEO. And if you understand SEO and stuff like that, it helps yep. with that side of things. We are, so our, much. Our mm. team is not about SEO. I want to make that really clear. We, we're not SEO experts by any means. However, what we are good at is actually knowing all the pieces that build great SEO. And so then you get an SEO, you know, SEO expert that starts to really hone down and does the interview. So we're the mechanics behind it. Get all the pieces, so the media citation, get you into, into that space, get a landing page built, get an authority page built. Um, I've got one here, I'll just flick over. I've actually got it turned off so that the video is not playing here, but um, mm -hmm. this, this is uh, now here, you'll actually see here and you'll see all the different uh, pieces on this site um, 
with the ABC and the Fox and different places. Um, awards, great. And when you start to think about um, mm. uh, an authority, if you've won awards, you know, we've become the most outstanding specialised business um, award this this year, last year, last the last three years running. Um, so you start getting those sorts of awards all by your peers and you'll see here it actually says very clearly book a call, not just with anybody, but it says book a call with Kel. Um, mm. So mm. tell them what they're going to get. So mm. book a call at strategy session. So that gives you a bit of a summary. That's awesome. You know, so, yeah, we'll have a link in here. I'd love to chat with you. And that strategy call for anybody going through a day's program, I'm happy to do, do that strategy call with you. Um, regardless of whether you use our service or somebody else, I'll help you to build a bit of a strategy around that. 15 minutes is about all it takes. If it goes a bit longer, mm. that's all cool. Um, mm. I just want to give you the, 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 the best start to this. I know you know, Dave and other people have helped me along the way and I want to pass on that same sort of respect. Um, and if you want some help to do it, I'll do it for you as well, no problem. That's wonderful, Kel. Thank you so much. I so appreciate that. And I know a lot of our people will, will take you up on that offer mm -hmm. uh, because this really is the next step. Yep. So nice. awesome, awesome, awesome. I think, um, I think we've definitely unleashed awesome today, Kel. Uh, I, I believe so, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the brand branding, that's good. And, and the authority piece, yeah, create that brand, yeah. There it is here, unless you're He's there. There it is, there it is. Love that. It's really important. Yeah, know who you are and just own your space. Love it, Kel. All right, my man. Um, any final thoughts before we round out today? Mate, I think we nailed it. Uh, yeah, King Coconut's done it for me. It's all good. <laughs> awesome, Kel. All right, well, thank you so much. Thanks to everyone tuning in. If you want some help, uh, or even just to have a chat with Kel about your strategy, uh, highly encourage you jump on the link below. And yeah, thanks, Kel. We'll see you soon. All the way. Thank you. See you, mate.